people, this is Shapino here, welcome you guys to episode number 8 of the Pokemon Pearl Randomizer Wedlock. If you guys are excited for today's episode, and of course you're a proud member of the Sharp Squad, make sure you hit like button down below for us, because as always, your support is greatly appreciated. In our episode, you guys, we made our way to the Valley of Windworks, we stormed the stormfront of the... Galactic Takeover, and we beat the commander, beat the grunts, tell them to get the fuck out of there, and they did. So, kudos to that. Today is Friday, so you know what that means. I hope it means that that Drift Loon is going to be at the Valley Wind Works. So, before we go ahead and do anything, though, we have a little web page to do here. So, I did try to go ahead and see what the deal with it is. I mean, apparently it did work. As you can see, I've got some fresh towels because the other ones were getting a little bit saturated from all the water tests and everything else. So, we'll go ahead here and see how we go this time around with the wet head. Okay. So, we've got ourselves covered up here, we've got ourselves covered up down here. Let's give it a little spinny spin. Spin, 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 spin. Let it move that roll and stop. Okay, let's go ahead and I'll pick this one over here. Let's see how we go. Will this be the one? We're safe! Hey! Woo! We're safe! Okie dokie! Woo! -hoo. The tension, guys, the tension really gets to you. Okay, so then we've done the wet head and we can see that we are all good to go. So let's go ahead, have a look at our team that we have from the last episode. So we got Electrox the Chinchow, Palm Spring the Cradilly, Fairy Cake the Clefairy. Cursed Outstar the Dust Gold, Tyo the Soul Rock, and England the Arena have been some mighty powerful evolutions in the last episode. Let's go ahead and put Palm Spring out front because now Palm Spring is the weakest Pokemon our team. Let's go ahead and get this episode started. Alright, so we are here. It is daytime now. Let's see what we can do here. Let's see if that Drifloon is in fact here since it is in fact Friday. <gasps> It is here, so as you guys all know, this is a static encounter. So let's go ahead, let's see what this has in store for us. That's a Fero. It's a Fero. What fucking horseshit? It's a Fero. I don't even care it's level 22. It's a fucking Fero! Like, come on now. It's a fucking Fero. Oh, shit. That did 22 damage. Fira, just please get in this Pokeball, please. You're in the yellow. Really, I'm only catching you just so I don't have to face another Spear of Fero action again. So we call ourselves a Fero. Joy. Great start to this episode. Couldn't think of a perfect name for it than anger. Alright, so now that that's all sorted, let's get out of here. Did we not face this channel? I thought we did. 
Apparently not. Okay, we're facing a chain now. One Pokemon, it's a... Look who's back! Look who's back! It's the son of a bitch Mewtwo that critted my Rhyperia and killed it! Well, hello you fucker! Oh my god. That was, <laughs> that was a fucking crit, are you serious? Oh my god. Oh my god, that was a crit. Oh my lord, this is not gonna go well. Oh lordy 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 lordy. Um... The only thing I could think to do is to bring in Duskull and go for Nightshade. That's the only thing I could think to do to this Mewtwo. Oh my god, bro. That's, this is insane. This is insanity, bro. I am just like, why are you here? Let's go for a Nightshade. But a fail, because I haven't done anything, you dipshit. So we're going to go for a nice shade, which is a guaranteed 16 hit points. There you go. Disable. No get some confusion. Don't crit me. That wasn't a crit. And we get to kill this Mewtwo. Fucking bitch. God damn it. Fuck you. Get out of here, you son of a bitch. Good lord. Well, this pump springs level 16 now, but... Ah, making me think about Rhyperia, you bitch! You bitch! That really damped my spirits. Nah, fuck you, okay? You made me think about my dead Pokemon, okay? Go fuck yourself. Alright, so let's go ahead now and heal, because I really need to heal. We already got our encounter for this next area here, which is, of course, that was the tailor that we got in the last episode. Um, aside from all the bullshit shenanigans that just happened just now. <sighs> just fuck. <laughs> Can't believe we fucking of all the Pokemon have been chosen. I mean, I would have been happy with a Magikarp. Like that's just, but a Fero, a Fero. Oh God. All right, all right. Let's just go ahead and see what we have here. What is this item? It's a Shed Shell. I don't think that's pretty useful right now. There's no mountain here, but I'm dressed to hike! <laughs> here he goes! Are you trying to hike me? Ew. <laughs> Creepy old guy. Just like, I'm gonna climb it. Oh, shit! First off the bat. And it's level 12. Good lord, it's a blast. Goes for withdrawal. Well, it's a good thing I wasn't trying to go for no goddamn rock smashes or anything, because we'd be here for a long time. So we're going to go for an Acid on this Blastoise over here, that does pitiful damage! Pitiful! Pitiful! Withdrawal brings in Metagross. Oh snap! You fucker, god damn! Okay, this is not cool! <laughs> and yes, Metal Claw! Oh, no! Oh, no! Don't get the attack boost. For the love of God, do not. Oh, my God. <laughs> no! What am I supposed to do? <laughs> oh, shit! Fuck! We got Mewtwo's and Metagrosses and... Fuck! Alright, let's bring in Electrox, because Electrox does resist Electric times 4. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, he goes for Confusion. Oh, you bitch. Oh, you bitch. The turn I did- Oh, you fucking bitch. You are a- You are- Oh, you're a fucking bitch. Metagross! I love you, Metagross, when you're on my side. Not when you're against me, okay? Just makes me think of that, uh, the shiny lock with that Mega Metagross. Has takedown! 
Uh, whoa. That does way too much damage. Nuh uh. You, you. Get out of here, Electrox. No. I ain't taking no chance on the high roll takedown. Fuck that. Hit yourself, you bitch. Come on. <laughs> so he has confusion, medical, takedown, and magnetize. Okay. <laughs> And he steps out without- For fuck you! Oh! Okay, well this curse can definitely handle Metaclaw a lot better than a frickin' Acridilly. Cause get the fuck out of here with that bull shit. And for some reason he has speed now. Was that a speed tie? Was that a speed tie? Is that really what was happening? Oh my lord. I'm having a fucking emotional roller coaster ride. And the first- not even 12 minutes of this video! <laughs> oh my god. Nino King! What with all these OP Pokemon? Fuck off! What is this? Poisoning, that's gonna do jack shit. Because I'm a ghost type and I resist that. The only thing that's gonna piss me off is that. Ah! Why does this guy have so many OP Pokemon? Fuck off! God damn it! Has a fucking Nino King, has a fucking uh, Mew uh, Blastoise, has a fucking Metagross. Dude, chill the fuck out! You piece of shit! Fuck! <laughs> Woo! Good god, that is. Oh! And it has Peck! And that was a crit. Hopefully that HP boost from the level up is going to help me out. What's the confuse rate? Yes, let's go! Cure of Leah, fuck that bullshit. <laughs> Get out of here with that. Get out of here with that. We got confuse rate. Now we're talking. Let's fucking go. Survive. Woo! And Blastoise comes back in. Oh my god, you guys. Fuck. <laughs> Duskull coming in for the win, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my lord. This is crazy. This is cray cray. This is cray cray. Oh my god. Oh! Herb! Herb my gosh. Herb my gosh. So, on Blastoise, we've seen Withdraw and Tailwig. I'm gonna go for an Acid. As he keeps going for some Tailwigs here. Okay. Whatever helps you sleep at night. Okay. Excuse me. We're making this Blastoise trip onto some acid over here. So we're gonna see a bubble. That's neutral. That does two damage. Two damage. Two damage. Blastoise! Get a better move. Bubble. <laughs> I'll tell you what. This episode is just like <laughs> we're coming to get ya. <laughs> I'm like, dude! Look at my team! Does my team look like a team that says, come get me? Like, shit. <laughs> Alright. So, we're dropping acid. We get a crit on the last acid, which actually didn't matter because another acid would not kill. But, get that experience though. Curse gets more experience. Last Pokemon is a Rhyhorn. Oh, you. Making me think of my Rhyperia. We'll go for some rock smashes. Everyone just loves to tail whip me. Tail whip. Tail whip. Like cool whip. Cool whip. Tail whip. And there we go. Another crit to clinch the cinch out this battle. Let's fucking go. Let's go. Let's go. <sighs> A refreshing battle that was. Oh yes. I'm sure you're looking for quite the challenge with your Blastoise and Nido King and Metagross and... Uh... We could have had Driftblim. Driftblim definitely would have been cool. But you know what? Tailo is actually... 
Taylor, it's a swello. I prefer that any day. Alright, Curse of the Poisoning, that's great. Go back and heal because our team is getting absolutely destroyed at this point. Like, oh my god. Those defense, the level up buffs, are really making themselves known to us. Like, oh my gosh. I don't think, I mean, I'm pretty sure they were like level 10s, or 11s, or 12s, or I, I, don't, I don't know. I'm pretty sure they're like, they didn't get touched as far as that 1% boost. Most of these Pokemon, like at the start of the game, will not be affected by the 10% buff. It's only as you get towards later game, that's when you notice the 10% buffs come in. So, a level 40, what's 10%? 10, so, 10% 10 of 40 is, is 4. So, add 4 levels and that, that's level 44. That's a pretty big jump from 40. I love Pokemon that smell sweet, like this one. Give it a whiff of this. Alright, let's go ahead. I want to see what kind of Pokemon this is to, to get a whiff of. And, a left. Smell that earthy rock flavor. <laughs> Smell that earthy stone plate. Just, oh, just, just oh. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and swap it to the left. <laughs> oh my gosh, smelling your layer on. Okay, that's something you do when you're on, like, high on shit. Oh shit, mud slap? Oh, that does nothing. Okay, I forget. Mud slap's only base 20. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. As long as this doesn't miss, I am A-OK. -okay. okay, it lands, that's great. And super effective, that's awesome. So it looks like one more water gun will be enough to get the kill. Awesome. Metal Claw, bruh! Resist times four, bitch! Learn your typings. Learn your goddamn typings. And the water gun lands, and it's gonna get the kill on the Leron. That Leron. <laughs> Get some more experience, that's awesome. Everyone is leveling up, fantastic. Do you understand what I meant? Didn't my Pokemon smell nice? Well, sure, if you're into rocks and shit, sure. And iron. Uh, but let's see what else we could have encountered. We could have had, we have a Finion. Never really had a Finion before, but hey, I, I like Taylor. I like the Taylor. I like, I like Taylor. Not, not, not like that, just a, I like the Taylor. Alright, so we've got an item over here. A splash plate. Yes! We can definitely use this. When the universe was created, its shards became this plate. So we can go ahead and whack this onto our pretty little Electrox over here. And so there you go. And the silk scarf. I thought I had on Fairy Cake, but apparently not. And now it has it. And we don't have any steel type moves. Uh, no flying type moves. Okay, so that's really all we can do here. We've got some berries over here though. A petra berry. Get that poison here. Yeah boy. Yeah boy! Orange berry. What kinds of Pokemon live around here, I wonder? Well, we've seen a Talo, Driplet, and a Finion, so that would answer your question. Chef Antoinette has a... Magic Carp, Magic Carp. Which I do... <sighs> Which I do believe that this level does get tackled. I think they changed it from, I think it was Gen 3 or 4, where they gave tackle level 10, and then level 15 it gets flayed. I'm pretty sure it was level... I am sure it was Gen 2, because... In Gen 2, they had the move Flail. So I imagine, to make Magikarp somewhat more trainable, they gave it Flail so that when it gets absolutely bodied training up, you could just use Flail just to blow people away. Unfortunately, Magikarp stats are terrible, so I don't think it really mattered. Next Pokemon is a... It's an Uxie. What's with these legendaries? Oh my god, all these legends and all these freaking pseudos. All these like OP Pokemon. Like, what the fuck is going on in here? What is going on here? Oh boy, we're gonna do this now. Hey, we're gonna do this now, Mr. Ooksie. I mean, I just assumed it's gender, but you know, it's got an agenda, so shame on me. Alright, you know what? Fuck this, fuck this, nope, nope, nope. We're gonna get Curse to come out and deal with this little troublemaker. 
So in comes the Cursed. Just like we hear in the Mewtwo, we're going to handle this Uxie here. So we're going to go for some big old powerful Nightshades. We're now level 17. So you know that those Nightshades be hurting like a bitch. Let's see how much damage it does. Oh, look at that. One more gets the job done. Just don't wake up and rest. Why do I say anything? Why do I say anything? I say it and it happens. Even last time I was like, the only thing that pissed me off is, and it gets poisoned. Ah! Okay, so it does look. Oh my god, why is this happening to me? Why, 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 why? Why, 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 why? Now, please stay asleep. Thank you. Now, Uxie, you can fuck off. Helmet, freaking Arnold. <laughs> What's my Arnold from Hey Arnold? Mother football head! Hey Arnold! Good show when we were a kid, of course, but now we're adults now. Oh, don't get me wrong. Some good, some kids' shows are great now. Um, let's see. Arthur's pretty cool. Um, what else? I, I, off the top of my head, I can't really think of all the kids' shows. Dragon Ball Z, like, hello. I mean, you see my collection back here. It, it's freaking, it's lit as fuck. Okay. Uh, I didn't know there's an item here. A star piece! We can make some money! Woo! Woohoo! Let's go! It's a long way between Florama, for Aroma, and Eternity City, so let's battle. Okay, we're battling apparently. Jinx. Jeez, jeez, jeez. Okay, Cordelli, you're level 17. We got this. Go for them astonishers. Power Snow, which is super effective because we are just a grass type. That's how much damage it does. That does 18 damage. That's fine. If we can do some more damage with Jinx, uh, with our, yep. That, 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 that pretty much says it all. That pretty much says it all. Goes for a double slam. <laughs> Gotta love this NPC logic, you know. I went for Power Snow, super effective. Uh, let's, let's go for a double slam. Let's, ch let's change it up. So he doesn't know what's to be expected. Okay, guy. Whatever. You do you, buddy. You do you. Wow, I'm having a Pokemon that can go! Well, that means you'll have to scurry back the Pokemon Center and you are blacked out. Okay, well, let's look what we find in here. Hariyama! Hariyama. Love me some Hariyama! Love the shiny of it too. The shiny actually is pretty dope. I will say, the shiny with those purple hands, <gasps> pretty dope. I won't push Rob Tasty's person, but I've lost my way here. Alright, so we're gonna take on another trainer and do another battle with a B barrel. B e barrel! Think of a B barrel, think of that one episode of Pokemon where um He's trying to protect the um they're trying to protect the dam. Um and the, the voice of Yugi uh Dangri Dangri, yeah, Dangri. He does the voice and uh yeah, it was actually a pretty good episode, so <laughs> Stop growling me, you bitch! What's wrong with you, B Barrel? Ooh! Last match is actually doing some damage. And we get that defense drop though. Yo, let's go. Let's do this shit while I go ahead and take a drink of my water. Roll out! Okay, this B Barrel's not messing around here. Critical hit! Palm Spring is a critical hitting monster! Crits left and right, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, we got someone here with rock and roll music. Osu, I'm not trained to hold back. Who said you had to? Dancer Noel has an arrow. I mean, if you see a chick down the road here, she wants to smell yours. <laughs> All right, let's go for some rock smashes. Quite effective rock steel. Uh-uh. Nope. And that's level 17. What? Oh. What? As he hardens. 
So, in essence, Aaron just goes, I don't like you. And I'm like, you know what? I don't like you either. Rock Smash! And Aaron. Aaron? Another crit! Palm Springs! I didn't know your ability was bloody super luck. Higher chance of crit? What the hell? What is going on here? What is going on? And I didn't mention this, but uh, last week uh, in episode 5, when I was doing grinding and all that, I found freaking Lugias inside the goddamn fucking cave. And I was like, whoa, we got some god diggity darn, we got some goddamn Lugias in here. We'll sort the teams around. Let's go ahead and use Fairy Cake. We need to use Fairy Cake this episode. And Fairy Cake did learn a new move. Oh, I don't know. Should I play a little? Uh, ma'am, you're going to be a bit more specific. It's 2017. Would you say that? That could mean a lot of things. Chef Dudley has a Kangas Khan. Alright. Clefairy, you did evolve from a Clefa. Are you sure you can handle this? Let's go for a sweet kiss. Has bite. Let's see how much it does. 12 damage. It's confused! Let's go. Alright. So let's go ahead. I think it does have more physical defense. I'm gonna go for a magical leaf. I wanna see how much damage it does. How much he does. Kang's just goes for Leer. Oh, come on! Fairy cake! Let's see how much magical leaf does. That does pitiful damage. <laughs> Wait, let me just check its stats. Its attack is actually more, so Pound would have done more. Base 60, and this is base 40, but with the Silk Scarf and the normal stab, Pound would actually do more. So let's go for- Ow, ow. I just have my toe with my chair. Let's go for Pound. Okay, two layers. Okay, we're getting a little bit scared right here, because that's a goddamn Kangaskhan. And... That's two defense drops here. Alright, we, we, we got it, we got to go, we got to go, we got to go, we got to go. We'll bring in England, Minarina for the Queen, England, and snaps out confusion. So really, our turn of doing Sweet Kiss was for nothing. But we do get that poison point though, let's go. You mess with the Queen, you're gonna get poison. So let's go for a double kick. That's another bite coming to play here. Does only eight damage. Double kick's gonna come through. Let's see how much damage that do. Woo! Crit! Woo! Boy! Choo choo! Here comes the crit train! Woo woo! We're on the first stop. Crit City! Good god, we've been critting everything all day. Cradilly and England here. Good god! We are crit crit critting everywhere we go. Good god. The crit train, people. The crit train. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know where he got that from. Good God. Alright, so I think we'll go ahead, we'll heal up here, and I think that's going to be our sprint episode today. Um, we didn't get much done today, but we did get ourselves ready for the next episode. So, by yourself? Well, I think I can. You know, not trying to be no little, uh, oh wait, hold on. An upgrade. <gasps> if we find a Porygon, yo, let's go, let's go, Porygon. Can become Porygon 2, my favorite normal type ever. Many poison type Pokemon make the Eternal Forest their home. But I didn't buy any antidotes. What should I do? Do I press on it? Do I go back? Uh, sir, for the safety of your nose lock, I would go back. But anyways, you guys, that's going to be us for this episode. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you hit like button down below because as always, your support is great. Appreciate it. And in the next episode, we will go through the internal forest, hope to get ourselves a very nice encounter because I love encounters. I love good encounters. Not Fero. Fuck Fero. But anyways, until next time, see you guys. Stay safe, stay sharp, and I'll catch you guys all next time. Later.